and because um we're in lockdown all i do is like i watch i read some books i do my homework i try and get a little bit of exercise in and um I read my book, and yeah, <laughs> I don't think you read your books, but yeah, all right. I read some books. You don't read your books, but I accept. Yes, you said that you read books. You do not read the books. I read books a lot. You said that you read books. You do not read the books. Recording. Thank you very much. Read the books. Hard life of a countryside. I read the books. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I read the books. No, you don't. That is so loud tonight. It's getting louder and louder. Yes, I clicked it. God bless you, London. My name is Robin Greaves. I live in Yellen Conyers. I was born in Manchester and I'm 92, very nearly 93. When family ring me up, and ask me how I am. And I'm able to say I'm perfectly all right, but it's lovely to hear what the family are doing. It's getting very boring now. Well, I actually, I actually don't mind it because I don't have kids or like an annoying partner to look after. Any chance you get, you know, just to <laughs> negate this, <laughs> negate the partner. <laughs> Most people are happy with their partner. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, good job. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is what you think. My team are now furloughed as of tomorrow. So I guess the world changes a little bit again. But furlough's better than no low. Yes, yeah, quite weird actually because I was absolutely expecting it. Um, but it's knocked me a little bit now. So, yeah, a bit down in the dumps. I remember I was sitting in my maths class and someone pulled out some hand sanitizer and I heard a boy say, yeah, apparently they're worth a lot now. And then people were saying how they're sold out in the shops. I just sparked my head like two bottles of rubbing alcohol, just aloe vera gel, £2.50. I added this um, bay rum, like this tea tree oil, like £11.50 already. Like, it smells nice. It's got look, it's got the good consistency. But yeah, that failed. No one bought it. And yeah, like now I just have loads and loads and loads of hand sanitizer. Away you go. That's not something you see every day. When was the last time you ran out, Holly? The other day. Two full days ago. And the day before two full days. How's that baby feeling? Then I only went around the block once. Yeah. Um, my hips feel like they're made of plaster, so. Okay, <laughs> that's good. When we touch that knee, you could hear the music was pum 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 You do, you do things that you never, you know, you always wanted to do, you know, like cleaning up, you know, I mean, clearing things out, and uh, which I'm still thinking about doing, but I'm thinking about <laughs> it. <laughs> so. Boy, any minute now, that baby can come out, so, you know, every time Holly will, like, she'll do a little, ooh, little groan or something, and I've, I'm already immediately thinking, fuck, is the baby coming now? I don't want to miss the window. We got to get to the hospital soon, soon as the waters break. So, chances are, I wouldn't really be anywhere else. <laughs> when you're born, people love you. And when you die, people love you. In between, nobody likes you. <laughs> That's true. Nobody likes you. They always find yeah, something wrong. Yeah, because the middle is like, they're not really important. They're the only two. But when you die, ah, uh, ah, uh, he did this, <laughs> he did that. Even when it's not true. You know, it's like um, you pick up all the good, the good memories. The hand. That's it. <laughs> There's all that going on. Yeah. So it's fucking. Hi, I'm um, just sat at my desk at the moment doing some work for my first exam, which is on Friday. 
Um, gonna be sitting it online. Studying at home hasn't been great. Um, quite easily distracted. It's taking lots of self-control, or rather, it would take a lot of self-control to sit down at my desk if I had it. Hence, I am talking to you at uh, twenty past one a.m. Um, because my family are all in bed, so easy, easy to not be distracted when everyone's asleep. Hello, thank you very much, mate. Cheers, nice one. Have a good day. Got to make the most of um, the space you've got. Uh, we're doing a bit of exercise now on the rolling machine, loosening it up, flipping it up. But every bit of space is being used. Jigsaw puzzle being done just there. Exercise going on there. This is flat dwelling 2020. At the moment, I'm most scared of the possibility, hopefully not likelihood, that this much time apart from my girlfriend will cause her to lose interest in me. Um, my biggest fear is, is catching the dreaded disease, I think, and not being able to cope. But uh, there's quite a lot of traffic today on the roads. So it is, um, what day is it? Don't even know what day it is. Lost the will to live and counting days is no longer part of my daily routine. I don't even look at my watch anymore. Don't know what time it is. What time is it? 9.53. <laughs> ah, fantastic. I've just been painting some of my shoes. Looking quite nice. I just like it's a bit shiny because I just um put this stuff on it and it needs to dry up. Yeah, they're looking quite fresh. Do you wanna just explain to the camera what you're doing? Having a baby shower on Zoom. Please element to it, as in, as in a cake delivered, and alcohol free beer. It's gonna be a party! Okay guys, how, what motivates you? I don't actually know. My alarm on my phone. My alarm, my alarm. I like, wait for it for like five minutes, then I'll yeah. turn it off and I'll, and it, it might wake me up or I might still be in sleep. <laughs> What's going on, Holly? What you did? <laughs> Making banana pancakes. When was that baby due, Holly? Four days ago. Four. It's an 18th yeah. Four days ago. When's that baby coming out? Today. She's coming. Look how them cut. Look at the colour of them. Um. Come on, baby, that's it. You gotta do this. <laughs> this is how fast Holly's been walking all the way back from the hospital. This day will take fucking hours. Yeah, you should be taking it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Right, Polly, I'll let you lift her. Hi! Hey, good girl. 
Yeah, I'm not worried about dorms at all. Brilliant. That is really so you're you ranting about this? It's not uh, about lockdown. You have to talk about lockdown a bit. Okay, lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> the lockdown is you ass is in the house. <laughs> so, that's it. <laughs> you're not working, you're getting paid. <laughs> I am we are now the children of Boris. Boris is uh, <laughs> taking loans and giving to us. That's it. Oh good. Now have you got uh, fifty other people to conduct? So let's just read it. Yeah. I, I set, set my alarm but I overslept. I'll set, set it again, again but I won't wake up, I bet. My mummy loves, loves to overcook. If only she used a cook book. Well there it is, the coronavirus. Thank you, NHS. Actual real life. Rainbow and the rainbow lands on hope. Yeah. <laughs>